A new NBC News poll shows that Trump holds a slight advantage over Biden among voters 18 to 34. You know, they're seeking an end to the funding of the Israeli military's occupation and siege of the West Bank in Gaza. In a major shift in U.S. policy, President Biden says the U.S. will stop supplying Israel with offensive weapons if, if it launches this invasion. Does all this sound at all uh, familiar to you? Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today I have a clip that you're all definitely going to want to see from a CNN panel consisting, of course, of all Democrats and one Republican, Scott Jennings, who calls out Joe Biden for doing the exact thing that sent the media into hysterics and that the Democrats impeached Donald Trump for. I'll give you one guess how they respond. Gee, let me think. I think they have a good issue. Well, Scott, no. I get it. I think they, they think that, no. they, you know, he's I, the president of the United States. He, he, They're just politicians trying to take advantage here's the, of a situation. Well, no, I, I, think they, I think they support our ally, and, and maybe he doesn't. They, they're going to recall a time when we impeached the president of the United States for withholding military aid authorized by Congress from Ukraine. $400 million. That was the basis of the impeachment. <clears throat> this is congressionally authorized military aid to our ally, and he is withholding it for political reasons. The basis, right, so, wait one second. The ba I'm sorry, it's your okay, show. Go, go. The basis of that impeachment was that the president of the United States called uh, uh, the president of Ukraine, and he said, I need, I want you to do me a favor and open an investigation on the person who I think may be my opponent in the next election. That was the basis and of And he the wants Israel to stand down on Rafa because his base is mad at him. Well, that's different. Come on now, did you really expect any different response than it's different when he did it? It's literally impossible to hold the Democrats to their own standards because they will always have a carved out reason for why it's somehow different. Now a few points on Biden's quid pro Joe, and I know you're all thinking the same thing. This is maddening because we all know Biden already did this and then bragged about it on video. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to press conference and said, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. That's not the same thing. It is the same thing. Now, the other side will say that Joe Biden was just getting rid of the prosecutor who wasn't investigating the corruption. And I'll quickly tell you why I don't buy that. One, his son bizarrely worked for the corrupt energy company that was being investigated. Two, Joe Biden knew his son worked for this corrupt company and was apparently okay with it. And three, he was so okay with it that he met up with Hunter and his corrupt business associates for lunch when he knew they were criminals. This is from Reuters. Boy, Biden said the United States was ready to, to help Ukraine stabilize and strengthen the economy. It wanted, but it warned, le he warned leaders they needed to crack down on abuses within the political system. He referred to the cancer of corruption. Now you're in charge of corruption in Ukraine. You're making these speeches about corruption in Ukraine and your son is going to work for the, sure. crim the criminals. Burisma is identified as as criminal. They're, they're, they're throwing bribes all over the country. Right. There are some significant yeah. questions both about Burisma and the owner, uh, Mikolas Luzczewski. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, that's true. He decides it's okay to meet, have dinner with these people. Now, how is that perceived? Now, that's that's uh, the only reason he would do that, obviously, to help to hook his son up. That is weird. Now on to Joe Biden's latest impeachable offense. Not only is Biden holding congressionally approved munitions from our ally Israel in order to benefit himself politically, but just ask yourself, does it even make sense to withhold these smart munitions? Think about it. If you take away the Israelis' ability to use smart munitions, then you're forcing them to use unguided munitions, which are much more likely to cause civilian casualties. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that's what Joe Biden's going for. So he can use those civilian casualties to rail against Israel and win back his commie Islamicist voter base. It's either that or Biden's handlers are just idiots. Lastly, if Biden is allowed to withhold congressionally approved weapons to Israel in order to benefit himself politically and persuade Israel not to enter Rafah, then why couldn't he withhold aid to Hamas in order to get hostages released? Oh, you're right. My prediction, don't hold your breath. 
We all know the Democrats operate on their own standards and will never hold themselves to a rule that will damage them politically. I don't think that pattern's going to suddenly change just before an election, and I definitely don't have faith in the Republicans to pull off an impeachment. But we can still spread the word, and hopefully voters will get the message. Unless they want a one-party, CCP-esque authoritarian state where their opposition is essentially outlawed and our institutions are all basically captured by one party and an ideology, then you better vote for Trump. At least with Trump, you know that all the guardrails are in place because every institution is quite literally aligned against him. All right, make sure to let me all know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and think about subscribing. I post on a regular basis. Thanks a lot for watching and make sure to keep checking back for more.